I mean, you have a sense of humor about yourself. Do you think sometimes people take your, take you too seriously? I mean, I, I, I think about, you know, there was that rumor that, um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Are you, do you have the diamond in your mouth now? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, people, uh, take me both way too seriously and not seriously enough. All wondering about, uh, do you have a penis or not? <laughs> you know, yeah. my beautiful vagina is very offended by that question. Yeah. Really? So you got a vagina? <laughs> now we all know that. Thank you. As part of my mastering of the art of fame, part of it is getting people to pay attention to what you want them to pay attention to and not pay attention to the things you don't want them to pay attention to. There's someone who said that um, uh, Lady Gaga is actually a very well-endowed young man. <laughs> and I think that might have come from that thing. But I've seen photographs on stage, and if you're well-endowed, I've got no idea where you're hiding. It, you know? <laughs> but that is well, a... I do have a really big donkey dick. <laughs> You studied the fame of other people, how they got it, how they kept it, and, and how they lost it. The sociology of okay. fame um, and how to maintain a certain privacy without um, feeling like you're withholding anything from your fans. And on the fame, it was about the part of me that wasn't a star yet, that was sort of you know, t revering in what it takes to become one. And it, and it was, you know, so much more plastic than what I thought it was going to be. You know, the hard work and all of that was underneath the fame. But the, the concept of that album was that at the time, you know, becoming famous was, it was absurdity. What about the crazy rumors that are out there? I mean, crazy rumors, for example, about you being a hermaphrodite. How do you feel about that when you read that? I'm not even going to answer that question. My philosophy is that if I am open with them about everything, and yet I art direct any, every moment of my life, um, I can maintain a sort of privacy in a way. I, I maintain a certain soulfulness that I have yet to give. You know, there also is this strange rumor that you're part man, part woman. <laughs> You've heard that rumor? Yes. True? No. Do you mind the rumor? Uh, no, not really. I feel like modern uh, society now and how you become popular is simply by being absurd. It, but it's true. <laughs> and, but you lose it's yourself true. in that process. You can lose yourself in that process if you're not aware of your absurdity yeah. and that you're using it. I'm aware of my absurdity. It's my <laughs> art form yes. in a lot of ways, you know? I told you she didn't have a dick. Too bad. I love. J'adore la rumeur qui dit que j'ai un pénis. I'm Ça me fascine. And in fact, que le monde entier croit à cette rumeur, fans, en fait, ça me fait encore plus aimer mes fans. Parce qu'il y en a chaque soir 17 000 qui viennent me voir en concert. Et ils se foutent que je sois un homme, une femme, un hermaphrodite. Gay, homo, straight, hétéro, transgender, transgenre, transgender, transsexuel, ils s'en foutent. They are there for ils viennent pour la musique et la liberté. Ça a été le plus grand accomplissement de ma vie. Que les jeunes comprennent que tout ce que la société leur a enseigné est faux. La culture gay est l'essence même de ce que je suis. Et je me battrai pour les femmes et la communauté gay jusqu'à ma mort.